engine has a crank trigger system on it, and it is a dual SDS electronic. The good part about it is uh, it has its own backup battery that it maintains, so I always know that the ignition is available even if we should have a, a main electrical failure. The system's battery is in the back of the plane, and it takes care of all the uh, power coming to the instrumentation up front. I have six exhaust pipes, and it's an eight-cylinder engine. Uh, well, we wanted to make it look a little more realistic on the ramp. So what we did, we took these three cylinders and exchanged them with these three after it had run for five or six hours. So they were both blackened up and uh, looked like maybe they're all in use at the same time. It has a dry sump system, so the uh, oil is always being evacuated from the oil tank, and there's a pressurized system pumping the oil back through the heads and to all the bearing surfaces in the engine. So it's very efficient for an airplane. And the original Mustang had a very similar kind of thing. We typically check the oil quantity after the flight. And I was checking the oil quantity one day, and I noticed a lot of bubbles in the oil, uh, kind of frothing up, oh, maybe a couple of inches, inch and a half. And Jim Zakharowski got the idea of putting a uh, system on there that would remove the bubbles, because oil with bubbles will not lubricate. So uh, he found this company, Spin Trick, we put the spin trick on here and how that works. Uh, when the oil is drawn out of the pan, it goes through the spin trick before it goes back into the tank. So now when I check the oil after a flight, no bubbles. We wanted the water moving through the system at a particular rate and a particular pressure. So uh, Jim Zakharowski designed uh, a water pump specifically for this engine. Also, it runs the prop governor and the supercharger. The original block was a custom block built by Keith Black. Oh, the racing engine fame. Yes, and Jim Zakharowski, who designed the engine, uh, had his own specs for uh, the block itself and where he wanted uh, water passages and that kind of thing. The engine is fuel injected. It's an airflow performance manual fuel injection. It's very dependable and uh, we haven't had any issues with it at all. We'll take a look at the other engine here. They're both exactly the same, but this gives you an opportunity to see both of them. Uh, you notice up front on the accessory drive here, uh, there's another pump. We use separate oil from the engine oil for the prop reduction drive, then that oil also is used for the hydraulic prop. And that pump, of course, comes off the front of the uh, prop reduction drive. This prop reduction drive, by the way, is about a 70% scale of the original Mustang prop reduction drive. The induction, very much like the original Mustang, uh, leads down here to the fuel servo, this unit leads right up to the uh, supercharger, and then out of the supercharger, uh, we get induction through this black tube here that right now is disconnected. Here, we have the oil filter. The oil is cooled back at the radiator. So there's the engine radiator. Then in front of it is an oil radiator. So they're both cooled at the same place. This is fresh oil coming out of the cooler and into the engine. And then scoop underneath here, is that the radiator? Yes, that allows you to induct the uh, airflow to both of those radiators. Mike Doyle, who owns this airplane, wanted to keep his cockpit looking as original as possible. And he went to great lengths to do so. You might notice here, he's even got a gun sight. And uh, he's quite proud of that. Very interesting. Well, you want to take a look at the cockpit on the other one? I do. Thank you. Well, let's take a look. Oh, wow. These two planes couldn't look any different inside, could they? No. Look at this. A lot of this is all the same, but with the exception of the EFAS, both airplanes are the same. The EFAS and the ignition system. 
it is truly a Walter Mitty aircraft. <laughs> Once you get in it and start flying, yeah. it's hard to know if you're in the original one or in this one. And I've flown them both. 